Today we're lifting a 16 Tacoma. We're doing some SPC upper arms and Bill Steen 5100 shocks. Pull the axle out on this side. We do what's called a needle bearing delete. It helps when you lift these things more, the control arms angle down more, CV axle angles more, and that bearing gets really unhappy. If you take it out, replace it with a high quality bushing and it solves any shattering and vibration sounds that you'll end up with otherwise. Alrighty, so we're replacing this, well, now destroyed needle bearing. Used to have a bunch of these little guys floating inside that the axle spins around on. Replacing it with this bushing, is more what I call it. Allows for more angle on the CV axle without any driveline vibrations. Alrighty, we got that new seal in there with the uh, bushing. Let's throw the CV axle back in and actually get ready to put the Bilstein shocks together. All right, we also got this uh, spacer to stick on top of the lift struts to uh, get the lift height that he really wants. There you go. Shove it in, shove it in. There we go. Next washer. And a nut. There we go. They see me rolling. So this SPC adjustment, pretty nifty. You can see the top of the arm is slotted and that'll get you your camber adjustment as the ball joint moves in and out on the top. Then on the bottom of this thing, they have a locating tab and you can rotate that on the notches to get you your caster adjustment. Will also affect camber a little bit, but that's mostly for caster. And that'll move the ball joint further back or further forward. And that's what caster is. Well, that's annoying. I can't get the nut on the bottom. Okay, that's all I needed, just enough. All right, we uh, got the lift strut back in on this side and the SPC arm in. Just gotta button up the brakes, a few other little parts and get over to the other side. So up next is the diff drop. You get these nice little pucks, some longer bolts. We'll take out these two factory diff mounting bolts, drop that down, put the pucks between there and the frame, bolt it back up, nice and simple. Oh, and we do that because with that further down, further makes your CV axles have some better angles, makes everything happier. Alrighty, up next is to the rear suspension. Pretty simple, we just uh, undo the factory U-bolts, put this nice little uh, lift block between the leaf spring and the axle, some new U-bolts, because that's they always stretch and that's a good idea, and then put the shocks back on it, and there we go. Lift kit's all done. Now it's on to these uh, wheel and tires. Nice fuel wheels with BFG KO3s. I think they're rather new. All right, got these wheels and tires on. Now we just gotta line her up and go for a test drive. Alrighty, got this thing all lined up, took it for a nice test drive, thing drives straight, nice and smooth. 
Uh, overall, it's a pretty good product. Nothing really rubs. Only couple issues we really had was getting those needle bearings out and uh, the front lower control arm bolts were a little seized. Luckily, the SPC arms still let us get us nicely in the spec. Everything's all good.